All right, guys, welcome back to JMV Rock Counting. For those of you that were there today uh, at the live, we did a live cutting, and uh, I'm going to show this stuff uh, minus the the ones that uh, we gave away. I might I might try to get those out, but I don't want to mix them up. Uh, well, maybe I will go ahead and get them, but I have to make sure I <laughs> don't mix them up. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to show this stuff that we cut, and after we did the live, we, you know, I cut several other things that uh, I didn't even have out. <laughs> There's so much, so much that I didn't get to cut because we end up having dinner, and uh, yeah, Vicky's back's hurting her, so she's laying down. So it's just, you just got the J today, this evening. You had the J and the V for the live, but for this video, you just got the J. Sorry to disappoint. Anyways, so I want to show this stuff and uh, try to get some good close-up videos of it. So I hope you like it. Uh, tell me what you think about the stuff, and I'll go ahead and get this turned around and let you see it. All right, so, so I don't mix things up. I want to do this first this was the first giveaway this was uh one cheryl one pretty nice old botswana it's got really pretty flames in there but it's you know it's one of those pre-tumbled so you know sometimes you still cut a really pretty one out of that and then this is the one that uh, Sonny won. Another pre tonal Botswana, but it's got good bands. You can uh, face polish that, it'd be real pretty. Looks like it could possibly have parallax. And then this is the one that uh, Melissa won. I think it's, I think that's the way it goes. And this was the LSA. It's a really pretty one. Looks like it. I didn't even notice that before. I think it's got amethyst in there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, you got lucky because if I'd seen that before, I wouldn't have had this one up for <laughs> for <a> giveaway. <laughs> but I won't take it back now. And then these are the ones that, uh, these are Malawis that we're going to, uh, John and Melissa decided they do half each. So... This is one half, this is the other half of the two different ones. They're pretty. And then here's the other two halves. Yep. And then hold on a minute, I'm gonna put these back up. Okay, so I said that wrong. Uh, Nick won that LSA. Uh, Melissa and John got the two Malawis. Sonny got the other Botswana tumble. And Cheryl got the Botswana tumble that I cut. So here, I want to, I want to start from the right. Here's one of the uh, Malawis. There's a lot of moss down there at the bottom. Got some color in there, too. It's pretty. You can see the depth in there. Pretty. And then here, from what I could see, was a dud. Maybe there's more I can't see up close. I don't know. It still looks like a dud to me. Maybe some Chalcedony, but... Yeah. This one was all Cal Sydney too, I think. 
Maybe a little bit of moss. There's some banding right there. This one was pretty. Got some dog hair. When you got seven dogs, <laughs> you can't avoid the hair. It's a pretty one. Try to do this somewhat fast. This was the other one. Well, like Cal said, and you can see the depth of that floater in there. Just straight, clear cow heading with that little floater. So then I cut some uh, of these Arizona. Look at that moss. But you can see that there's banding in that around that quartz. That moss is pretty. See the depth of that? That'd be a cool one to look at under the microscope. I bet that'd be hard to polish though, down here in this section. Here's another one. It's got a nice quartz pocket in it. Look at the banding around that though. Looks like a bunch of islands. pretty if I say it's pretty very much just to ignore me <laughs> cause they're all pretty and here's the last one Let's see I couldn't see the details of that up close uh but with the naked eye in the lighting we had. But look at that. You can see those little puffy white specks in there. That is wild. Oh, got some marks from the saw on it. I'll be getting time to change my blade again. Uh, then these are some that uh, I got out after the live that you guys didn't see. These were some Botswanas. See that parallax in that? Can you see it up here? And down here. And this thing was a a geode and i don't know that is that felt feldspar looks like it might be feldspar that i cut through some kind of crystal Trying to see what that pocket looks like. I don't know if it's a dog tooth. Like calcites or something, I don't know. I mean, it's got to be quartz because that's all quartz around there, right? I didn't look in this side good. I got these from uh, Highland Park a long time ago, and I still got a, several bags full of stuff, mostly cabin top material. But these are, you know, they're they're just rough. 
but they there were some pretty ones that one's got parallax it's just got too much quartz in it for my liking this one was really pretty oh this one's got unbelievable parallax look at this thing You can just see the movement in that. It's a pretty one. It was just an ugly, ugly nodule. But man, that one cut pretty. Same thing with this one. This one had a big window on it, though. It also has parallax. Too much quartz again. And look at this one. This one's gorgeous. It was all broke up. And I did not expect that because I saw this window and thought, hmm, I thought it was going to be that color. But that was just surface staining and then you cut it open and it's like, wow. I mean, but that's typical Botswana, you know, that kind of coloration. I don't even know how it went together now. But a little piece of it broke off on this side. It was hanging right there. <clears throat> then we got this one. A little geode pocket in it. Well, our dogs want to go crazy all of a sudden. Yeah, here's one of the LSAs. This is one Vicky cut live and she just loved it. No, she, I think she cut this one after the live. Look at the colors in that. But typical, I say, it's got a fracture going through it. Man, that thing's pretty. There I go with the pretty again. <laughs> and then she cut this one too. A little moss up here on the top. awesome that whole batch just about of lsa's we cut man uh, that we've gotten from alex they've just been awesome and i think this is another one of those i don't know if this is a fragmented membrane or if this is moss but it's very interesting pretty cool This, this side more looks like the fag, fragmented membrane. That's what I found out about that one red one. It's called a fragmented membrane. But it's pretty cool with these little red inclusions up there. Yeah, you couldn't really tell much about that nodule. Same with this one. This one's got those red and yellow spots in it too, but you can see that banding is real ghostly. Is there? I'm 
trying to look at those spots. Some kind of little inclusions. Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to get to, well, let me do this. These two things back here real quick before I start the Thunder Eggs. This was uh, the Turkish that I got from Glacier Bros. Really thought that this was going to have a bigger pocket in it. This ain't the side that shows it, but I'll get the black light out and show these this uh, after I show them in the light. You know, this side here, look how big that face is on that. Showing really good bands. It almost makes me think that it's a, this one broke off and it was a double or something. Maybe I should cut this again right down the middle. See if there's more in between there. I might do that. Not tonight. <laughs> and then here's that chunk of Laguna. Uh, Laguna crazy lace you know laguna lace or whatever i don't think i hit that the bots quite right but i've got i've got some pretty good crazy lace so i'm a little bit biased at this point and there may be more uh good pattern in there if I cut it, because I mean, there's still a chunk left there. Now, this is kind of the end cut. You really can't cut that one anymore. But it's still pretty, you know, you can, you can make you some cabs out of the, you know, these sections here. But there wasn't much showing on that one, but right there in that one spot through them bots. Yes, there was a little bit of bots right there. I don't know if I cut it out, but I got plenty. Of, I could cut this two more times. I'm going to have to get on some dogs. Okay, you guys won't notice that I was even gone, but uh, yeah, I had to go deal with these dogs. I don't know. They just take a wild hair sometimes. Okay, so I want to do some squirting again. Okay, so this was the Cold Mountain Thunder Egg. Pretty much nothing but rye light, I guess. I've seen some people make some pretty cabs out of this stuff, though, I guess. I don't know. I like them better when they're more traditional Thunder Egg looking with, you know, the Chalcedony or stuff in the middle. And here is one of the Buchanan that we got from Kyle. Via Ryan, there's a little piece coming out of that. Have to check that out under the UV. Put that back in there. Oh, that piece is loose too. Huh. It's pretty wild though. 
some of these things like these Buchan or yeah Buchanans I, I've been getting have been geodes. <laughs> this one wasn't though. This one's pretty cool with that wispy looking chalcedony in there. Little swirly pattern to it. A little bit of moss in it, maybe. And then here's one of the, I think these are Richardson's. If I'm wrong, let me know, guys. But this was a double. Almost really a triple. I just didn't cut through. It almost looks like it might have been one there, one there, and one little one there. I don't know, but I cut through two of them. I had a little bit of a pocket right there. And then pretty typical. I really was hoping for some water line, but... I'm not sure if that is Richardson's. I'm not sure. Uh, but there's there's several different beds there, so I'm not sure. But they're still kind of cool. I just, you know, it's all mainly clear chalcedony. That's got a little bit of some kind of inclusion right there in the middle. Different color. And then it's got those little plumes coming up out of the that little thin section. I like the shape of that one though. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then we got this one. A little bit of opal down there. I think that's it. I think that's opal. You can see the depth of that, you know, how you can see down inside that chalcedony. Those are dirty. And this was like it was a, was a double, but this part right here got broke off. So I just cut it. This one looks more typical Richardson's as far as the brow light goes. It's got that more brown, but it does have green right there. These other ones are all green. It's got a little moss down in there. Might be Pride A bed. This may be not a particularly good one. I don't know. It's kind of cool how that, uh, even down here, it's appreciated and the calcedony has just healed it. Just kind of frozen like that. And then, let's see, here's the other thunder egg. This one right here was wild. Uh, especially this side. It's like got, uh, it, it was a geode, but it was a, it was a triple. You know, one here, one here, and the big one. So you got the two up there on top, and then the big one was a geode. And then it had this, is that, I guess that's opal, but it's, it's just flaking out of it. There's a big old piece over there on my saw that came out of it. But 
you can see the little formations in there. You know, kind of sort of betroidal, I guess. I don't know if that's quartz or what. Probably. But, or, it's, or it's just chalcedony or something. Since there is chalcedony in those two little sections. Look, that's cool. I just now notice that. Hold on. I gotta wet this pipe down. Drying out on me. So you've got eyebrow, eyebrow, eye, 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 eye nose, mouth. <laughs> Almost like a tongue sitting at the bottom of the mouth. Or he's chewing his food and, and showing you. <laughs> With some teeth. <laughs> and then here's that one uh, crinoid calyx geode that I cut. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. I think that's all calcite. So maybe if I uh, melt that out, it might actually have some cool stuff inside there. Because I'm pretty sure that I, if you can see that. It's like a little flash to it. That usually means it's calcite. I got to find some acid. Yep. And that's that's pretty much it. I don't think I missed anything. Uh oh yeah, this thing here that Vicky cut that was part of that one of the things that we got with Logan when we went with him. Let me wet this down again. Cause I want to kind of show you the external parts to show you what I was kind of looking at that made me think potential agate or something in it and i guess it almost does have a little bit of chalcedony down there because it's pretty translucent down there on the bottom and i'm pretty sure that's not quartz but that's all quartz in the middle i'm sure but you know there was just parts of the exterior rind that made me think it looked a little agony. Or at least it did to me out there in the sunlight. I don't know. I guess, you know, places like that where you could see the translucency of it. In the sunlight, it was kind of, really kind of going. Eh. Nothing I'm too excited about, but there's, there's more to try to cut. And maybe there's more in there that's not showing up. But, I mean... I was going to cut this. I'll just show this because I, I don't think I, you could see it real good on the live. This was a beautiful piece of, I'm pretty sure it's a wahi uh, picture of Jasper. But uh, I thought that was a pretty piece. Yep. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> Let me turn this around. Okay, maybe I won't turn it around because I need to uh, do the light. All right, let's look at some of this stuff in the UV. 
I can find the on button. Yeah, look at that. Those thunder eggs are crazy. That's one of the view cannons. I almost think it's almost got to be highlight opal as green as that is. That's crazy. Yeah, I guess that's calcite. Look how green that is. Wow. Let's see. Wow, that one of those Arizona ones are just lit up. Uh, that one seemed like it had a little bit of a green glow until I got it up close, and maybe not. That side's got some little. Low in it. Ooh, look at this Botswana with all the crazy parallax. Wow, oh, that's crazy. Ooh. Uh, well, that's that Laguna, and it does have. It's got some green in it. A little bit of stuff showing up on the bottom there. That one's got some color to it. That was one of the Botswanas from Highland Park. That one don't show nothing. That's another Botswana. Hmm. This side's even better. That's the one that had the crazy red, but then it's really white on the inside on the banding. Let's see. Yeah, these other thunder eggs are crazy. <laughs> it's just like with the dugways, man. They just they glow, glow so green. It's wild. This is the the whole. Uh, Buchanan that was not a geode. Uh, oh, wow. This is the Kentucky crinoid calyx geode. That was not really a geode. But look at the... <laughs> that's crazy. Look at the other side. Yeah, that's definitely cow side in the middle. Okay. Thunder eggs. Uh, that other thing from Kentucky don't show nothing. The, uh, well, the Cold Mountain's got a little spot on the side, but the face of it, the cut face doesn't show anything. There's a big green spot right there. I wonder if the other side does. Yeah, there's a green spot. The uh, Malawis are not too much. Okay, so here's that one. Botswana that has to be calcite so it's not feldspar 
with it being that red, it's got to be calcite. At least I think so. And uh, this one here shows up pretty good. And then let's get the Turkish because you got to see the Turkish. Crazy, crazy. Look how green that is, man. I think that's some calcite right there. Let's see. I'm not seeing any phosphorescence with it. I don't know what this was or not, though. Yeah, there's some... There's some phosphorescence with that one. Oh, i got to turn it off. Eh, not much. That one had a little bit. Yeah. Let's see if this one had any phosphorescence. Yeah. Definitely. See the other side. It's wild. <laughs> I love it. Uh okay. Now I'm gonna look at everything. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's check out this one again. Because I want to see phosphorescence. Yeah. Or those little crystals are. Wow, that one lingers. Let's see what this one does. Because it shows some white in there. Yeah. Wow. Does anybody know what that is? <laughs> uh, that was pretty much it. Alright, let me turn, it, turn the lights back on. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the cutting and uh, the little after show here. If you've seen some of this stuff that's up here to the side, this is uh, like the big blue green. This, I cut this on my last video, and uh, this is some malacoys, and I was going to send this to Bear. And uh, I'm also throwing in a piece of this right here and I gotta look it back up what it was it's kind of like a purplish the, what was the name of it I can't remember the name of it throwing in a piece of this and he's getting that salami lane and he's seen this piece of uh, bloodstone that I was going to give him but I'm not going to give him that bloodstone. I'm giving him a different piece of bloodstone. Uh, the piece that he was going to get was maybe about this size. You know, just size-wise. Probably about that big. This is the piece I'm going to give him. It's a fair amount bigger. Yeah. Because I've got more. And uh, he does carving and stuff, I guess. And I hope I hope it's not too big for you, Bear. If you see this, he doesn't even know yet, you know, that I was going to give him this. Uh, let me wet it down some. Because I just want to show it on these cut faces. Yeah, it's a pretty one.
That's only two cut faces there is. Or so if it's all rough. But it's pretty. And that would be a pain in the butt for me to cut. So, yeah. I thought about being a little bit more generous on that one. And I'm leaving this tag. It, it comes from the Family Stones, but I did. I personally didn't buy it from the Family Stones. I bought it from somebody else that was, and it was a part of a box. And basically, what I paid for the box was how much the Family Stones was less than what the Family Stones wanted for that one rock. And I still have. 10 or 15 other pieces of various things that was in that box. So don't feel bad, Bear, if you see it, because basically the way I look at it, that thing was basically free. And so was a lot of other stuff. It was like a 300 some dollar box and I paid 50 for it, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of take advantage of deals like that when you when you can find them. So yeah, uh, I was going to actually add a couple thing, other things, but that thing's going to take a lot of space up. So I might I might throw some smaller things in, but uh, yeah, we got a lot of boxes to go out, and uh, so I don't know how many of you watched the uh, gym show live, but uh, I think there's still a few people that haven't that wanted those uh magazines the books or whatever that haven't paid for them and haven't uh paid for the shipping on them so if you can get that taken care of uh uh one person paid one person doesn't have to pay because i'm kind of doing a trade of sorts so those two people are already know who they are so guys thanks so much for not only today's live, but my live Thursday, I think it was, over in, down in South Florida. Uh, it was an impromptu thing, out looking around at that truck stop. And I was a little bit shocked that there was that many people there at that live and at tonight's live, especially Tay being Easter. So I appreciate it. You know, Vicky does too. Uh, you know, we're just trying to have fun with it. So, uh, throw a little giveaway in here and there. Uh, I don't do that to, uh, try to get people to watch. I get it. I do that to show my appreciation. And I've got an, an abundance of stuff here and it ain't going to hurt me to give away a thing or two. And we're not selling anything yet. I mean, uh, we could, I guess, but. I don't know, just haven't started to sell anything. I, I figure once I get a cab machine or get this flat lap fixed up to where I can actually use it with get some new pads and stuff, then maybe I'll uh, start doing that. And also, so you know, if any of you just watched the live uh, at the gym show and we had that tie with... Uh, who was it? It was Josh and I can't remember who the other winner was, but the, uh, Lisa, I guess it was. No, it was somebody else. No, it was Lisa. Well, I decided to go ahead and give Josh one too. So I'm good. I'm giving this one to Josh and I've already sent him a video. It's polished face. Uh, this front facing camera is not going to pick it up real good. I'll turn it around and show it real quick. Ooh. Hold on. Okay. So it's a pretty little Kentucky agate. But it's a lot of hole strike. But who knows if you cut into this, 
if there might not be some more this is not the kind uh that you find in the creeks this is you know one that they knock out of hard rock and they get these little mini agates in these and even the it's a I don't know if it's like a dolomite, dollar stone or whatever, or if it's limestone. Can't remember. But it, you know, you can see it. It takes an okay polish on that part, but the agate itself takes a great polish. But yeah, I'm giving that to Mr. Joshua's journey. Okay, <laughs> for real, I gotta go. It's it's bedtime. And Vicky's in there probably already snoring. So, you guys, thanks again. I'm Jay. V's asleep or waiting on me to get in there to go to sleep. You guys take care, and we'll try to get this uploaded either tonight or in the morning. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you like this content, we're trying to do more of it. And uh, share it out. You know, get it out there so more people can see it. Thanks, guys. Bye.